So, like, Genos is cute and all with, like, the bad boy look and the whole obedient thing. But I also feel like Tatsumaki is, like, a dominatrix in bed. Did I say that out loud? Anyways, what up you guys? I am back here with a new video. As you can tell, we are doing a review of One Punch Man. Alright, so basically what you guys can take away from the title is that the main character named Saitama is a very, very powerful superhero and he defeats basically his enemies with just one punch. For more on Saitama's backstory and history, he was an ordinary man who was basically on a job hunt to just find anything. And as he got rejected from his most recent interview, he's walking home and he sees a boy crying in the distance and encounters a crab-like monster that wants to kill this boy. So Saitama asks the crab, why are you picking on this boy? And the crab, asks, the crab basically says, well, I want this boy dead because he pulled a prank up on me. And through various conversation and fights, Saitama actually loses an eye and basically, in the end, kicks the crab's ass and saves the child. The child is basically, they tell you later, that he is the grandchild of the creator who made the Heroes Association. And so they made the Heroes Association in Saitama's honor. And so from there, Saitama began training furiously every, every day. And throughout that training, basically all his hair starts to fall out. So that's why he is bald. Now, as throughout the series, basically Saitama is never really satisfied in how he fights because he only defeats all his enemies with just one punch. Anytime that he would encounter a monster and they would have a very, very, very long intro, which is also why I like the anime, they would have a very long intro, he would just tell them to, you know, like, dude, are you done? Like, I got shit to do, I'm done, can we just get this over with? He would always see this really, really powerful monster and he would never, he would never get the ending that he wanted because anytime he would just punch them, they would just disintegrate, poof, explode. Without going into too many spoilers, we'll just keep it to a bare minimum. As the show goes on and he rises up through the ranks of the Hero Association, he meets a lot of really, really cool people. One of them is his best friend, Genos, who basically turns into his apprentice because he is just so astonished and wow by the fact that his master is just so good at what he does. In order to qualify and get into the Heroes Association, you had to take two forms of tests. You had to take a written exam, and you had to take a physical exam. Once you've passed these two exams, there is four categories that you can be placed in. You can be placed in C rank, B rank, A rank, and S rank. S rank is the highest, C rank is the lowest. According to the wiki, there are approximately 546 heroes registered in the Heroes Association. And in order to rank up and get to the next level, you had to be rank one in your class and once you have improved and you get to you get to rank up you are now at the bottom of the next rank class so for example if you were number one in c class you would move up to the lowest rank of b class and you would climb from there throughout the show most of the time the threat levels range from tiger or demon which happens to be either a threat to a large number of people or a threat to like a city or a facility but there's one occurrence where it's been dragon level where it's just been across multiple cities just because of the monster or so-called being just being that powerful now to go more on aesthetic side as for the anime like a drawing wise i thought the animations were very 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 well done like the whole style of the anime i just felt so engaged because it did feel like a superhero anime in a sense and it was very very different from any traditional kind of anime so like style points to the director and for the artist like i love that 10 out of 10. one punch man seemed to have a very very decent or high budget just because of the amount of like vibrance and quality that went into the anime when certain fights happened certain superpowers went off certain actions it just looks so graphically beautiful that it always wanted to make me watch the next episode because I wanted to see what the next person was going to do with their superpowers. Since I never ever or rarely ever like to watch anime with English dub because who watches, who does that, who watches that, it's disgusting. 
I thought the actor, the actors or the voice actors did a very, very good job voicing every single character from the Japanese voices. I thought that it was very engaging at times. You can basically tell the difference between personalities and versus other personalities between the characters. Oh yeah, and another thing for visual, I loved how every character was different. I think that's a very, very key aspect for me when it comes to anime, that the artists and the director and everybody knows that they're not lazy, that each individual character has their own set of qualities. Like Genos was very, very, very well drawn out. He's very like, like strong, dark, very contrasting stuff about him when he gets angry. And I did love how Saitama, but his overall character is very simple, so they drew him very simple. And then when he would get bad and kind of show off his more like, like dominant sort of side when he's fighting, he would become this serious looking, like, strong, bald character figure who would just like whoop your ass. And one thing I did notice, I do love how it's really funny how One Punch Man sort of makes fun of other anime, aka Naruto, like my favorite long anime ever, where... <laughs> Anytime there would be a fight where the enemy would have a giant long spiel about him and his struggles and what he wants to do and how he's going to take over Earth, blah, blah, blah. Saitama's just sitting in the background just like... Are you done? Like, can we get this over with? Like, can you shut up? I loved that about it. Like, I knew, I knew instantly. I was like, they make fun of Naruto all the time because it just always does that. And I just thought that was a very, very comical relief aspect about the show. Overall, I thought the flow of the anime was very, very good. Like in the beginning, it's like, oh, okay, this is really badass. And it keeps flowing and you keep fighting more characters in the organization. It's like, all right, all right, but what's the main premise? And once you get towards the second half of the 12 episodes, it really starts to get into the nitty gritty in that you get that, you gain the aspect of how serious like each threat level is different from the other threat levels. And overall, I thought I thought the anime was very good. I know a lot of people hyped it up, but I still, for me, I enjoyed the anime a lot. As you can tell from before in the beginning of the video, my favorite two characters were Genos and Tatsumaki. Genos, just because he is some teenager robot who is very, very good at what he does. He's very smart, got 100 on the written test, got almost nearly perfect score on the physical test. And he just has this attitude, like if someone is better than him, he's just like, oh, oh my God, how did you do that? Oh, master, like, oh my God. Like he, he has this like humbleness about him. Like if something, someone's better than him, he like wants to understand and wants to get better. As for Tatsumaki, I liked her just because she has this attitude that, oh, you think you're better than me? Like, bitch, I am the number two. Like, I am number two. I am the second strongest um, hero in the organization. Like, bitch, do not come at me like that. Like, like sister, queen, please. Thank you. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention to you guys. One of my favorite things about this anime was that the funny satire comical remarks in this show. Here's a little clip of what one of my favorite, like, things of all time about this show. Alright, you guys, this wraps up my One Punch Man anime review. If you guys have anything, please tell me in the comments. If you have a favorite character, go ahead and tell me that. What did you like about the anime? What didn't you like about the anime? And just your overall thoughts, you guys. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media. And watch me on Twitter if you want to see me play video games and suck at them. But thank you, guys. I will see you next time on my next anime review.